What is up, everyone? Welcome to the Existential Stoic Podcast. Quick fix number 15, communicating more clearly. I'm Randy with my buddy, Danny. Hey, Randy. Hey, Danny. So today we are talking about communication. Turns out you can't not communicate. We just learned that in our full-length episode this week. We did. Yeah, you are one of the paradoxes of life. Yeah, we are always communicating, literally always through our body movements, facial expressions, everything is communication. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about how to do it more clearly. And so generally what we do in these quick fixes, we like to keep it short, under 10 minutes, and we each come up with about three things for how to communicate, make, yeah, <laughs> more clearly. <laughs> That's awesome. Good start. <laughs> yeah, right? And... Uh, However, in this episode, Danny and I came up with a lot of the similar things. So what we're going to do is kind of share our own viewpoints on them. Well, and I would say similar, but phrased differently. So if we're talking about communicating more clearly, we might have meant something slightly different and probably did. So let's just go through it. Let's explore. So the first one I have is know your objective and kind of like know why you're having this communication. I, I, I listened to this audio book on communication a while back, and it was talking about how a lot of the problems in arguments and communications is that people don't know their objective, and they may not even have one. And so they'll often get into these arguments that they didn't need to get into. They could just say, hey, wait, hang on, pause. I need time to reflect on this, to think about it, to actually know why we have this conversation. Uh, and if you do that, if you know your objective, then you can go into the conversation actually knowing the, the point that you want to get at. Because we talk about this all the time in just life direction, things like that. If you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. Whereas if you know where you're going, you're much more likely to end up in that location. I like that one, actually, because and it is different from what I had in mind, too, because of precisely that. Right. It's like, you know. Look, sometimes we communicate just to just to, to kill time and have fun. Right. And if we know that that's the goal, you know, we know sort of the boundaries of what we can say or how to say it. Whereas if we have a specific end in mind, if there's something we're trying to resolve, if we know what it is, right, it makes it easier to get there and to know what we're, why we're even having a conversation and what kind of the etiquette for it might be. Right. And how we might communicate it, you know, what style or what, you know, whatever. I like that. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. Nice. Thank yeah, you. my first one, which was sort of similar, when we went over these, but um, so I had um, say what you want. Like we always say on this podcast, vague ideas get vague results. And I think in this case, what I meant was by say what you want is, you know, you have to be specific and you have to be assertive, right? If you're trying to communicate more clearly to someone, but you're vague on what you actually want, or you're beating around the bush, or you're, you know, using all sorts of like, you know, different ways of trying to say it without actually saying it. it's like sometimes you need to just actually say it if you want people to understand if you want a raise say you want a raise right See, don't go in and that, say all these reasons why you know you don't have enough money you know i think yeah, that is brilliant i mean in, even in the bible they say you have not because you because you ask not and yeah. they say ask and you shall receive seeking you shall find knock and shall be open but it's a uh, yeah you have not because you ask not so just well, I think a lot of us forget that, right? If we ask, we will get it, you know, if we know what we want. But anyway, yeah. I mean, because how good does it feel to actually be able to help someone out and to give them, provide them what they want? Like, I think that's one of awesome. the biggest things we forget because it feels so good to do that, that other people probably want to do that for us. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. So uh, the next one for me comes from my least favorite book. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> but uh, for some reason he just like yeah well anyway that's all right uh, you can hate it yeah the the uh thing is seek first to understand <clears throat> so like you you've probably had experiences where you're talking with people and they like they like run you over with the conversation like you're not <laughs> yeah. talking with them they're like talking at you and yeah. so like but in conversations oftentimes it can be really beneficial to listen first to find out what the other person wants and why they're having the conversation because that'll help you have a much better conversation a much more intelligent conversation if you can understand where they're coming from I mean, and like I, putting I yourself in their shoes it's a good one though because i think you know 
look, a lot of things we struggle with in life in general are from either ignorance or misunderstanding. And when we're talking about communicating more clearly, I mean, understanding has got to be part of that, right? Because if we don't understand what the problem is, if we don't understand what we're talking about, I mean, we're just not going to be able to communicate, right? We're not going to be able to convey any clear ideas or even, you know, whatever. So I think that's a good, yeah, it's a great one. Mm -hmm. All right. My next one I have is uh, take your time. Now, I know this is similar to one of yours, but I guess what I meant here, actually, I meant this very literally in the sense of like, a lot of times I think when we're trying to communicate, especially if we're excited, emotional, whatever, we will rush through things and it'll get all muddled or awkward or said very weird. And or sometimes just like if we're rushing through, we're not really thinking things through clearly, our emotions get in the way. So taking our time, just slowing down, sometimes taking a step back, we can communicate way more effectively, way more clearly, because we take the time to hear what we're saying, essentially. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant by it. Yeah, that's a that's a really good way to put it. Um, a little bit different than what I had with slow down. So my next one was slow down. And this kind of comes specifically from uh doing stuff in like pickup, but also uh, it's from this book that I'm reading now on social engineering. So in terms of pickup, like I noticed whenever I was going to talk with girls, I would be talking fast because I was nervous. Oh yeah. yeah. And so by intentionally slowing down the speed of my conversation, it, it had like dramatic results at putting them at ease. But you know what so, it was too? You probably looked more confident or seemed more confident because, you know, that mm -hmm. nervousness is, I mean, especially talking fast is like a, it's a simple, easy sign of nervousness, right? It screams nervous. So like, and, you know, and also I mean, it helps. screams, it, it also screams like, I don't value myself. I don't think I'm important. Yeah. Cause like, I just, I need to get this out now because it's, it's not important. Let me just say it and be done with it. So that, that was one half of it. The other half was something that I just learned the other day from this book, Social Engineering, uh, where like whenever we have a conversation with people, they're trying to figure out four things immediately. All right. Sure. Those four things are who are you? What do you want? Are you a threat? And how long is this going to take? And like those are four things that everybody wants to find out immediately so that you can basically put somebody in a box and not have to worry about them. And so yeah. by slowing down, I think it helps allay that, are you a threat type of thing? Like that makes, you're not it, trying to like it, confuse them or whatever. Or, yeah. It gives them time to process those four things while they're getting more comfortable with you. And oh, that's interesting. See, I'm glad we included this, you know, maybe we should do yeah, this right? more often because apparently, <laughs> I mean, and that's a different perspective thing, right? I mean, that's funny, but you know, that's good. It's yeah, like that's one of, life. it's like one of life's paradoxes. It is. If only somebody did an episode on that. Oh, we wait, did. we did. Yeah. You could listen to it. <laughs> you should. It's awesome. Um, mm -hmm. That's a good one, dude. I'm really glad we included both. Um, all right. My last one is uh, kind of a proverb sort of, but it's say more by saying less. And here, what I meant by this actually was like, again, we communicate so much without actually verbal communication. And I think, you know, there's that saying, what is it like, uh, don't tell me, show me. And I think, you know, when we talk about, you know, communicating more clearly, we forget how much, you know, our actions speak, you know, our values are, are seen through our actions. And really, like a lot of times we don't need to say anything to communicate clearly. We need to take action. We don't need to tell somebody that we love them. We need to show them that we love them through action. Right. Or we need to, you know, show a friend that we care by actually doing something for them or whatever. Right. But like, you know, a lot of times I think that we, we forget this, we focus too much on the verbal and we forget about all the other ways we communicate that we can actually say very clearly what we mean and, you know, mm -hmm. what we value in the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a great point. That was even mentioned in Think and Grow Rich. He said, uh, tell everyone what you're going to do, but show them first. There's a few philosophers who have mentioned that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hey, a great that's one. That was, I think this was one of our, I think this might've been one of our best actually uh, set of tips. I think it was very good. Yeah. I, I like it. And I wasn't expecting much from having better communications, but you know, <laughs> com communications, everything. It really is right. There's so many ways. Yeah. Well, thank you everyone for joining us for this quick fix. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure to like subscribe, click the notification bell on YouTube 
also share it with your friends and family, coworkers, anyone who you think could benefit from this type of material. Uh, we will be back next week with a full length episode and also with another quick fix. Danny, it's been an absolute pleasure. Randy, it's always a pleasure. All right. I'll catch you later, bud. Later, buddy. <laughs>